Hello there, how are you? Many times we come across people coincidentally and we are completely oblivious to the reason. The main reason they appear in our lives at the time they appear. There has been people that I met several years ago and I thought it was just main friendship. But then, so many years into the friendship, sometimes we don't even talk, you know, just this silence that separates people sometimes when life happens and people get busy. But then there comes another phase or another time in your life where by some sheer accident, you happen to be talking to this same person and then it's like a light bulb goes off. The reason for you coming together in the first place finally becomes clear. But then what happens? If you had burned bridges, if you had bruised this person, if the friendship had ended in some very difficult way, the help that you would have gotten from that, that person today would have been completely gone. And before you meet someone, I want to believe that it's already predestined. This person is probably meant to teach you a lesson or give you an opportunity. Most of the time, the lessons are not pleasant. Somebody can come and completely bruise you. Somebody can come and just cause a mess in your life. But then you know what? What I see is that after I experience the bruise, what it opens me up to is the fact that I didn't have the defense to protect myself against that bruise in the first place. So from there, I make a decision and then I say, never again. That means I will do everything possible to learn how to defend myself towards a situation like that. That is a lesson, a very valuable lesson that money cannot afford me. It's an experience that is priceless, an experience to, that will get me through tougher doors. I see it as an opportunity for preparation towards bigger dangers in the future. Mostly when people come into your life and bruise you like that, what it also does is the fact that it, it vividly shows you what you should not tolerate or what should not welcome in your life. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know until it happens. Then you say, wow, this uh -uh, is not part of the package. But how would that have happened if you had not been exposed to this pain in the first place? It is in the same vein that somebody could come to your, into your life and from that moment on, you begin to experience speed, growth, positive, your energy, your zeal, enthusiasm. By their deeds, you will know them. Find and surround yourself with people that gives you enthusiasm, that give you speed, you know, that makes you see there is some possibility in everything. If somebody comes into your life and sap your energy dry, oh boy, mm -mm. it shouldn't. It's a clear indication that you do not align well with that energy. Get rid of it. It will drain you, it will set you back, and it will completely sap your precious life out of you. This is one lesson that I have learned that I value so much. Because of that, it causes me to respect everybody that I meet because I don't know what your reason is for my, in my life or what your purpose for my life is, what role you're meant to play in my life. Respect everyone, irrespective of position, you know, because most of the time, those who have, they never show that they have. They'd rather let their deed, their action, their mannerism and things speak for them. They don't wear themselves on their sleeve they don't go showing when you meet someone you cannot judge the book or you should not judge the book by the cover allow yourself to come through allow the person to come through value every experience value everybody you meet stay safe kill the ego for a peaceful life my two cents <laughs>